Oh, there we go. Hello. How are you doing? Hey. How's it going, Tyler? Oh, you know, steady away. Had a bit of a quiet day. I've had a bit of a chilled one, really. Been lots of reading. I didn't start. Right. Well, not like fun reading, not like oh. novel reading, or just like more like homework. Homework. <laughs> Everything homework can homework be right fun now. sometimes. Homework. Said like a true school nerd. Yes. It was I mean, I, 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 I like reading and I always have done, otherwise I won't do it at all, but still, yeah. Different, like, papers on organisational systems and emergent stuff, and Daniel's sharing lots of interesting stuff, and I'm coming across other interesting stuff, so it's just, like, permanent homework. There's definitely a lot of, if you, if you stick around Corona Y, there's always a lot of reading that you should be doing um, that I'm behind on perpetually. <laughs> But... I'm perpetually I'm perpetually on catch up. It's just every single day there's somebody shares an interesting article on something or a, a research paper on something, and I'm just like I can't I I could I could not sleep and still not read it all. Got some new faces yeah. in here. That's Hello, true. Derek. Hello, Brendan. All right. So. I think we'll give it a couple of minutes to let people join. Apologies that I did not send it an agenda, but it's more or less the same agenda as usual. Um, yeah, the document's basically... kind of good for covering the agenda. Um, <laughs> I don't think there's any organizational stuff to talk of today, um, but things like that occasionally turn up if Arthur turns up and says something that I just don't know what happens because it's the side effect of not seeing everything. <laughs> Yes, I, say I'm a, I mean, tend to be at a bit of a loss in terms of any specific like spotlight topics, unless somebody just tells me I should pay attention to something specific. Um, I know there's a lot of interesting stuff going on behind the scenes, but I think it's still it's still in the works, so maybe not not meeting appropriate just yet. Um, yeah, I've I've invited. Um, well, I've linked up the Health Lens people, so they can join up if they want. Oh, good. Because I've given them a link in their bridge channel because it'd be helpful to understand what some of the um, the external bridge teams are doing as well, just as a documenting. Yes, and I see that several of these things are listed here um, in the updates document. Yeah, I think we've got most teams now or sub teams or groups. I don't really know how we're defining it yet. Slava's oh. got a little bit something to talk about as well, hopefully. Oh, good. Anyways, I'll leave you to start start your meeting. I'm here if you need me. I say, can I encourage you to be the scribe again, Tyler? Go on then. Someone asked. That's that. not fair. I should I should open that to the floor in case anybody else would prefer to take a turn. I can provide the documents link for you to edit live if you would like. It's fine. I'll do it. Okay. These Thank these means are getting smaller, so I'll cover I'll cover notes. Great. Um, I'm still not seeing a large number of participants with us yet. Yeah, meetings are starting to become asynchronous on information. Like for the last week, I don't think I've had above nine or ten. So. Has actually, for my own personal curiosity, has much been going on on comms since I haven't been. No, okay. Not not specifically. Um, just stuff that's update updated on daily side. It's not. We've not been doing calls because mostly because I don't want to stay up until half twelve to do it. Right, and I know and, Daniel's been too busy to lead them, and you've been kind of the default ringleader for the comm calls. Yeah. Probably so, something we should talk about at some point, actually, and figure out if we should fix it. Yep. Anyways, um, so nothing to really talk about on communications. I think galley has got a couple of things on um, partnership side, but I don't really know the details. Um, we're still... Uh, Bianca's working on a task management HR 
tool database to sort of expand or using Airtable, it's work in progress. So don't, I've got no more on that. Um, and we've got Teams, but I think I'd like to start with Slava because he's got an update on data sets, data, everything, all the data. Because he's because we're um, some people are a little confused about where which versions were at um, and the the process and the tools that have been used. So he needs documenting. Okay, so yeah, let's start. Uh, at least I promised to Maya to explain what we're doing with the V19 uh, data set. So uh, for now, we are, we are really busy with uh, actually um, conversion pipeline that uh, can, can help to get any updates for Code 19 to our infrastructure. And we, we kind of managed to create this pipeline already. And uh, first uh, uh, data set we produced uh, was placed in MongoDB. And now we made it uh, queryable and it's V19. It contains more than 63 thousands of records. However, there is no spacey pipeline yet that available to get all these enrichments and uh, entities. So just uh, plain data that we extracted from Code 19. And uh, other thing that we did, um, so as you probably know, we have Altmetrics uh, database with all um, engagements from social media, from uh, citations and other things. And we actually uh, combined everything in MongoDB. So now it's possible to get all papers with all uh, citations amount and uh, other information in one data frame. I think it's, it's very useful already. And other thing also can be interesting for uh, researchers. Uh, we actually managed to get all affiliations recognized automatically for all, almost all papers. And it's also available in MongoDB. So now, now you can get everything in, in, in same data frame and uh, it contains uh, geolocation and uh, also name of institutions and uh, other quite useful information. So that's it for a moment. That sounds, sounds good. Um, yeah, if you can, if you can document that on the daily, because I've got some of it, but you're uh, much more a fair with the details if it needs to be. On the, yeah, um, yeah. May I please ask a few questions? Yeah, by all means. Um, when you say about pipeline, do you uh, mean that everything they produce there in the core team every two weeks will be somehow automatically converted to something uh, usable for us? This is exactly what I mean. Okay. So every update of uh, Core 19 should should go through pipeline, and we should get everything updated automatically. This is our goal. Right. Uh, then uh, we kind of started to work with Elasticsearch provided by Brandon, and, yep. a lot of, and a lot of our code is dependent on that on on it. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, this uh, this kind of new versions will also be uh, available within the Elasticsearch. Yes, it will be available both in in MongoDB and in Elasticsearch. We're not going to break something. We we are going to enrich uh, data after new release of Core 19. Okay. Thank you. I, I also see that uh, one of my uh, team members who is responsible for many processes, Pranjalia, he's on the call now. Probably he has a questions. And if he does, that would be lovely. Pranjalia, would you like uh, to ask um, to ask Slava questions you had yesterday? It seems not. Okay, I got it. I will, I will uh, pass it back and thank you so much for the clarification. Okay, so if you have more questions and uh, just, just to clarify some things, uh, we're ki kind of uh, bringing uh, pieces of infrastructure and probably you, you can think that it's not really related or not relevant at the moment, but we're trying actually to combine data points and after some time you will understand it's just different pieces of the same picture. Okay. Um, Slava, I, I have a question about this too. Um, yeah. 
so I, I'm still learning about the, all of Dataverse and the, the structure that goes with it, but we were discussing how this would link into our, our efforts to kind of start to productize the code base in VT. Um, yeah. And one thing that came up was the idea that you were just, I think you were just explaining where you have um, data sets, but then they get updated variously. Yeah. So maybe you ran like a data set from two weeks ago, but maybe now you've got a new one and you want to run it. Um, is there a way that these data are like stamped or archived or are they just clobbered? This is exactly how Dataverse works. So every time when uh, you will get new updates and uh, it can be upload, uploaded to Dataverse or manually automatically, it will get new version release. And this version release will be recognized by our pipeline and it will produce new data points and content of data set will be archived in Dataverse. So you'll be able to download archive data set anytime. So I can, I, there's some way that I can maybe retrieve one that's two weeks old if I need to. Yeah, you, you, you can go in, in, uh, on Dataverse landing page and you can get list of all versions and you can retrieve version you want. Okay, so there, therefore if I can do it manually, I can also in some way exactly. I can interface yeah. with it okay yeah and we are planning actually to link every version to uh, data points so you, in our services you'll get also a uh, version as parameter so you'll be able to query like previous versions because uh, otherwise we'll lose provenance okay so uh, again i apologize since i'm not i might uh, sufficiently familiar with the work that you've done so far the pipeline is it is, is it just for uploading the data or can the pipeline also be used to retrieve data? Is Should we be using it to retrieve data? No, actually, actually we are building both processes. So first to upload data and second to re retrieve data because everything should be synchronized and up to date and quickly, not like now we are waiting for, I think almost months to get everything updated. But uh, I believe like in few hours, it should be feasible to update in the future. Okay, very cool. I, well, I may have to ask you some more questions offline. <laughs> You're welcome. Um, well, this is great. A great start. Um, Maya, you're the only person I see here whom I recognize as another like task team lead. Do you want to go next? Uh, why not? We don't have any, uh, any uh, substantial progress, though, since yesterday. The only, the only good news I can actually share is that uh, Ruslan Aleni, who is our med expert uh, and who had uh, corona it since he finally answered me on LinkedIn, he's fine, he's healed, and I'm just happy to know that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's great news. Who, who's this? Who's not been well? Ruslan. Ruslan. Ruslan, I thought so. I just, I, I want to show. Okay. That's good to know. Yeah, and... He had to contact me actually on Slack to help me with, uh, I'm still having issues with uh, terminology, uh, but um, he didn't contact me yet. I will ping tomorrow probably too. Yeah, I had to look through that um, link he sent me yesterday, that CSV file. Um, yeah. I ran and I, I was looking at it and yeah, I can sort of, I can sort of get what you're trying to, trying to understand and because it seems like you've got um, connected engrams and some of them are like only one or two connections and some of them are three or four. And so, yeah, and you're trying to work out, I mean, my medical terminology, I was like, I'd have to go, I'd have to go search this. So yeah, you need an expert to be able to do it. Quickly. Right. It's yeah, not it's clear. like exactly. some, some of them was like, I know what them words mean. And then some of them was like, I'm not sure what that is. I'd have to go find that one out. So yeah, I can definitely see why you'd need um, somebody with medical experience just to speed that process up. But there don't seem to be that many of them. There's only like, 50 or 60 categories you seem to have come up with. So that's not, it's not like hundreds of thousands, thankfully. No, it's not. But still, like the input and a possibility to engage in a conversation, Kevin, who is actually directly deal, uh, deals with ULMS and myself to be, uh, to, to kind of make sure that I understand what we are doing in general, uh, that, that would be lovely. So this is still our blocker, except for that, no updates, everything is fine. Thank you guys. All right. Um, so I'm still, I'm just going down the list of other stuff. I don't see anybody here whom I recognize, at least from VT or Ties or Geo. 
I am representing Thai's team, so. Oh, good. I, I, yeah, yeah. I, I substitute the uh, Christian because he, she, she can't uh, join the call. Well, please, please do give us an okay. update. Okay. Uh, actually, there is not not much update from our side. We have uh, uh, still uh, trying to train the the models for uh, narrow periods recognition. Also, we onboarding th three new uh, team members who are going to work on knowledge graph on, on ties. And uh, uh, actually, we are trying to. Uh, deal with uh, time zone span so we uh, update it, uh, times uh, let's say availability of, of team members so uh, now we're more or less okay with that so that's that's pretty much everything from our side um did you did you read that comment i mentioned earlier because um you were talking about using that Different software, can't remember name. Uh, right yeah, now. yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, um, actually, and, it's, and it's and it does seem like really cool that it's a, it's a really cool system, but it's just a case of to stop more information leaking out and making it hard for everyone to track right now. I'm just ideally, I'd like to keep things in the systems we're using currently, but I am going to investigate and see if we can reach out for a partnership with that company and potentially replace maybe Zoom and Trello and. Slack all in a single integrated system, so wow. which would be nice. I don't know mm -hmm. if it's ideal for it. It needs an investigation. But rather than someone having to be logged onto several systems to find discussion points, and because you know there are certain people who need to just like me, I need to be able to see as much as I possibly can, just so I can understand what people are doing to be able to help as much as I can. That's literally the only thing I really do is watch and help <laughs> point things out or see where I've linked <laughs> things. So it does seem like a cool system and I will look into it, but rather than um, you building a whole knowledge base in a different place that no one can see other than your team, it's uh, yeah, it's less than ideal. So we're, we're looking on it because knowledge, knowledge management is something we're still trying to work out how to okay. better manage. Mm -hmm. Actually, to, to explain what, what, what's the need behind that, uh, we need uh, some, uh, uh, some place that like whiteboarding, extended whiteboarding because there is... Uh, not enough just uh, scribble on the whiteboard, but rather to draw some uh, flowchart, et, et cetera. So that's, that's um, the actual. Yeah, we've got, um, we've got Miro for that if you need it, or mm -hmm. um, also Neuro, which is Kaltura. It's a classroom system. You can actually have a video call and build and whiteboard all in the same space. Mm -hmm. Nobody really uses it right now, but. You, but it is set up and it is ready to be used if you want to work through that one. Um, but Google's got um, something called Jamboard, which is kind of a, I'm not sure how it is for work, building workflows. Yeah, it's, I, I'd have to, obviously I'd, I'd love to help you with solutions. I just, um, yeah. I'm just, I don't want more tools mixed in right now, mm -hmm. just because there's so many tools from so many different teams. And it's not that we shouldn't experiment with stuff. It's just a case of that's not, a small tool to experiment with and it's one of them things that if we do move over to something like that it would be a, a whole system move i mean that's the only way i look at it right now and i don't want you to have to duplicate doing work in two places just so we can see it that's all i don't want okay um, <laughs> yeah i don't want you to have to do it in there and in here just so people can see it that's well there and trello and slack then you're just spending more time documenting and not actually getting on with tasks anyways i'll leave uh I'll leave it and leave that at that. Okay. Yeah. I like the sound of a, um, a tool that can consolidate our, our tracking. By the way, like personally, that sounds cool. But I, as soon as you said replace Slack, I immediately cringe because um, it seems like our most uh, reliable metric of people who interact with us is currently Slack, including the fact that we still have, continue to have a huge disparity between the reported Slack engagement and the actual official roster signups. So- Yeah, um, very, it's very different. But this um, same page seems like it's quite a clever piece of integrate. I'm not saying it's perfect. It looks like it borrows a lot of Zapier's um, automation which means that even though it's trying to reduce the amount of softwares we'd rely on, we'd also still have to rely on Zapier, which is ideally something we'd want to 
reduce. But it's um, it's a balancing act. It's wor worth worth investigating, and there is a free version of that. So, I mean, I don't know. I'd it, I'd, I'd like to see some of the things you do in there if you do you end up using it a little bit, Dimitro. But um, have you just... all been posting any of this discussion on the the organization tools channel? Not yet. It was literally a few hours ago, yeah. and yeah. and I tagged I tagged a couple of people in it. But um, is there really an organizational tools channel? Have I? Is there another channel I'm not in? It's not I'm called that, but yes, there is. It's essentially basically a place to talk about software tools. Um, and okay. I will find it for you, and uh, I can uh, I can certainly I think I should be able to. I think it's private, and I can perhaps invite you. So, um, yeah, that's fine. I mean, I, there's, there's that many channels and that many things that oh. I don't think I'm in it, but I've technology of... issues. I think that's what we're calling it. Yeah, technology issues, and it's actually it's public. Um, so uh, yeah, should be easy to get in there, and and it's been kind of nice because like you know we those of us who are working on smaller tasks have been able to bounce ideas off the channel as well. Like for instance, we were just looking for dock scrapers that we thought would you know be good for uh, VT, and th there was a nice discussion about that. So. Yeah, it's one of the things that is happening in, in again in silos where teams are talking about using this software or that software or that li library and it's like ideally if we could have that in a place where everyone who's involved with things could at least read and see it's only it only helps because that's that stops things like where we had um Maya going why are you using MongoDB rather than Spacey and 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 it just people end up building things at the side and have to explain it later on rather than explaining as they go along it's just a balancing act of them things and also like say with the knowledge of the crowd if we can have the someone goes actually i found this really cool software and it might be able to replace five problems it's like yeah i didn't know that existed thank you very much let's do that <laughs> yes i enjoy that sort of thing on the other hand it, it can yeah you can get bogged down very quickly because there are different flavors of the same thing and we have issues with money and but you know always good to know what's available so um okay so we've got nine minutes and uh i just would like to know is there anyone here who would like to raise any issues right now okay are there any questions um, probably i have mm, well it's not a question it's idea so uh what we are producing mm -hmm. uh in uh, generic infrastructure is actually suitable to produce nice visualizations so if, yeah, I know there are people that are interested to create some interesting maps and I'm really invited, inviting people now to try because we, we, we already have all the information. So why not to try to visualize COVID 19 on the map right now? Well then, so what, what would be the way we would like share that information at this point? Okay, okay, I will publish announcement on Slack. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, if you can tag uh, Isaac in it, because he's dealing with like, he's really interested in um, visualizing like the the pandemic modeling. That's kind of mm -hmm. what their team are doing. They're doing like, um, they're doing. But the problem with that is, is obviously that's like looking at all the entire planet's data, which is you know not a small problem. And that's one of the problems he's got is is not access to enough data, and we need to. I need to hear something from geo because i'm not i've not heard anything from geo at all and i don't know what's going on on that side if they're pulling more data in or if they're all just kind of twiddling the mm -hmm. thumbs i don't i don't know what's going on over there and it's i need to reach out to them again um i need to reach out to hibson and see what is going on there because obviously daniel and manuel um have both been either busy or, or not well so it's hard to know what's properly going on in geo in regards to if they're still sourcing you know, public data sets, or if it's just something that's being put on hold until the dataverse was fully finalized and it could be using it on a, I don't know which, I don't know where we are on that. And it's one of the questions I need to answer. So, okay. Actually, and that's not actually, I didn't actually mean how should we have a call to action. I actually meant in your mind, um, when we have visualizations, what are we going to do with them? The most simple visualization is just to plot all uh, institutions that busy with COVID-19 on the world map. We, we, we already have all the information. We have uh, locations, we have uh, That'd be uh, interesting. Name. Just, to, yeah. just to see which organizations are actually involved in looking at exactly. the problem. I actually I can't believe just... that hasn't been done before now. 
um, that's yeah, yeah. That seems I, I, a great I, idea. It, it might be an interesting connection to what Claire, this Claire group have been doing, which is like a volunteer AI European group that have sort of been connected up recently. And if it was a case of we can work out all the European ones and then all the international ones from the paper, it's it's a map of institutions that are actually trying to look at these problems. And then once we know all the institutions that are doing it, we can start looking at how can we interface and network them together to get the best efficiency out of it. Because they, when we, if, if they're all working on this problem, when we start coming up with possible tools to help solutions, then we know who needs to be informed of these possible solutions for them. You know, this is exactly my point, yeah. Yeah, that's would a really we, good idea. Would we intend to publish these visualizations anywhere? And if so, where and to whom? I, of course, it should be placed on our own website. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, love it. Website. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great, I love it. Yes, let's definitely do that. Um, I'll, work, I'll work down, I'll find a place to do all that. Very cool. By the way, yeah, just as a just as a, 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 um, a comment that may amuse people, I have a friend who is a math tutor professionally, and she had a, a kid who needed to analyze Core 19 data for some assignment he was doing or she was doing. And uh, I linked her to our Dataverse. So um, thank you guys for doing what you're doing. I don't know if the, the student has any use of it, but you know, I think they might think it's cool at least. Maybe they'll find something good. And yeah. uh, you, you, you know, uh, on Harvard Dataverse, there is collection already created. So they're actually uh, publishing uh, up-to-date data on website. So you can see it um, on the page. This first time I've actually had you in the room for a while, Slava. Um, are you, I know you've been dealing with the Code 19 pipe, as in updating it, making sure it, it's live and it's um, searchable. But now that's to the point where you, st I'm assuming it's kind of stabilizing and the work on that. Um, what other data sets or data are you going to be researching next and adding into the pipeline? Is there any, for like in the side of like geo side of stuff? Is it, are you, are you, are you, have you got any ideas where you're going to be sourcing that or what things you can Well, uh, I'm, um... I would say slowly moving to the final goal to build a knowledge graph. And uh, basically we have two different knowledge graphs in this situation. First, I would say is kind of produced by social sciences. And second, uh, it's life sciences. So all these biological expression language and uh, Indra mm -hmm. and other tools, they actually should, should build a life sciences knowledge graph. And of course it should be linked to social sciences knowledge graph. So. Uh, social sciences knowledge graph is coming to us uh, via Dataverse, so people just depositing data. And I really hope that we'll start to use hypothesis and people will confirm and verify all statements. So this is a way how we're going to build trusted uh, life sciences social uh, knowledge, gra knowledge graph. So it's a quite difficult concept to understand if you don't know about that, but I'm pretty sure that it's possible to make it work. All right. And all, all services that they are building uh, is kind of um, kind of step ahead. So slowly we are moving to this point when we'll get everything connected. Okay, well, that's great. Well, we're down to two minutes. Um, and I think this is a kind of a natural wrap up. So if there's, if there are no further topics, I think we can go ahead and adjourn. Um, anyway, thank you everyone for coming and participating and I'll be uploading this uh, hopefully shortly. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks guys. I'll see you Wednesday. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. See you. Bye.